try to join some club uh, and I think my maximum time for recording is done so it's going to be another video to this oopsie uh, anyway Scorpio let's go for your message yes let's go for your message wow we have the six of cups and that's again water element and we've got this uh, beautiful lunation in your fifth house and the sun in your eleventh this is inner child healing if there's been trauma in the past if there's been like uh, and since all these heavyweights jupiter pluto saturn are in your third house it could be healing with a, a close friend that you sort of you know heal with uh, you know you just had a problem maybe you come together join a whatsapp group and then you know you become friends you meet them on social media and you're like hey hi what's up and uh, you you have a really pleasant interaction with them that sort of you know puts to rest a lot of maybe ghosts of the past so this card is essentially about allowing the ghost of the past to rest and this is six and mars is in your six retrograding so you know it, it's too good to synchronicity and your ruler finds joy in the sixth house where he is so you can't make this stuff up Heal, allow yourself to heal. If there's been trauma, especially sexual trauma. Six is the number of the goddess. Six, look at this, like pregnant lady. So it's very feminine, the, the six vibration. Embrace it. Embrace it and, and move with it, Scorpio. Okay, that's what I have to say. Now, uh... Clarify for Scorpio. Oh, wow. So we've got the Prince of Discs. So that is interesting. This princess, this princess, they don't use print, uh, the princess here, so use prince. So um, this is about starting a new financial endeavor or just, you know, working towards, uh, oh, it could also be this person that you really connect to from the past. I don't know why, I just my guides just told me to tell you that prince of discs so it's it's really a, a, a very pleasurable connection that's coming for you okay um taurus taurus i don't know why i said taurus i felt taurus okay could be virgo could be cap no i don't see cap uh, it could be someone younger than you and or it could be someone you've known in your childhood that you really connect with and you feel a sort of release feel a sort of like be from the internet the person you meet okay definitely someone online very very strong possibility of that happening now uh, moving on soul power Scorpio is the message from spirit always remember you're a soul that comes with the body not the body that comes with the soul remember uh, you are a soul having, you know, encased in a body. You're not a body that has a soul. So let's demarcate that and understand that, Scorpio. Peace and blessing to you, this fifth house full moon. Now we've got Sagittarius. Whoa, Sagittarius, it's interesting, but Jupiter also happens to be your ruler. And Jupiter also rules this lunation by domicile system. <laughs> sorry so uh sad for you this is the fourth and the tenth so in a full moon in the fourth house uh, something about your family life comes to light maybe something about your childhood something about your mother uh something about the way you've you know uh thought a uh, thought of your life Maybe that, that goes through a complete rewiring, okay? And then the 10th house is the legacy you create, your uh, social recognition in society, you know, how people know of you. So maybe, you know, your family is not comfortable with the way you are being perceived. Maybe your family is not allowing you to create the legacy you want to create. Maybe there's just some kind of imbalance happening with your work life and your professional life. Okay, and um, 
remember your ruler jupiter is in detriment and is also in the term of saturn okay so term is a hellenistic concept where you know certain degrees of each sign is attributed to a planet so during this donation your ruler happens to be in a term ruled by saturn it's already in a sign ruled by saturn so jupiter is feeding off very saturnine vibes and this could have you feeling down restricted confined upset all of that resolution is is find a balance between work life and uh, family life now let's see what the tarot has for you sagittarius okay king of pentacles so i see a, a very good combination with this whatever you've been working on is going to come full circle and you're going to achieve abundance it could be a father who literally gives you some money but of course after a conflict and you're able to create something that creates a, that that helps you create your legacy uh, so it could be a father it could be you coming into your financial power finally it could be a sort of a mentor who comes and helps you uh, discover more about your potentiality king of pentacles can be very stubborn it is definitely very stubborn energy for some of you Sagittarius this is a hookup with someone who's earth sign and someone who's very uh, like I said arrogant stubborn not Aries type arrogant but you know just my way or the highway just very collected earthy vibe but, you know, this person just knows what they want. They could even help you. That is what I am thinking, Sag, with that. Fourth, they could be like your father or your father-in-law or, you know, you meet them through your family. If this is a love interest. For many of you, I know it's not a love interest. But it, it, it could, it's definitely a, a relationship that will enrich you. Sagittarius. It's definitely a relationship that will enrich you. Your ruler is in an earth sign as well. So seven of uh, pentacles is failure. Um, so seven of pentacles is quite a difficult scenario because, you know, no matter how hard you try, things just slip away. Seven can be a very eccentric number. And Saturn is actually the lord of the seven planetary sphere. But sevens are very spiritual, but very, you know, difficult in the material world. So whatever it is, and it's discs. So seven of pentacles and king of pentacles. So family and career, you know, just, I see money. I see something physical, something investment gone wrong. And this person could either help you with it or maybe, you know, take you down a worse road. I don't know that. That's something you've just got to figure out for yourself and discover for yourself. Um, Sag, I wish you peace. I wish you uh, bliss because you will need it, right? And we've got a clarifier for you before we go, of course, Sag, like with everybody else. So your clarifier is embrace the moment embrace the moment okay just allow flow be right next up is capricorn capricorn this full moon is in your third house and um, the sun is in your ninth house virgo uh sun is wow trining your rising probably for a, a capricorn rising so that's nice anyway water signs and um Earth signs are harmonious by sextile, so you know, it's good. And Capricorn third and ninth, third houses, you know, local neighborhood, everything local, uh, school education, vocational training, working with your hands, blogging is third house, the blogs you visit, and all of that. Now, uh, the ninth house is foreign travel, heart, university education, publishing and all of that okay long distance travel and all of that so oops. it's my baby slide sorry so um yes uh definitely there is the third and the ninth 
maybe you need to go somewhere to enhance your business but it, it can be quite tricky with that now message from spirit is ace of pentacles in reverse it's one of the first reverse cards i have uh capricorn you've got that saturn back you've got that pluto you know making all the planets there radioactive so and you've also got that jupiter who's in detriment does not like your sign and Jupiter and Venus are very, very, very active this lunation. Watch my astrological update on this. So something that you're planning with regards to maybe long distance travel, that's what Spirit made me say, not going to work out. Financially, you could get duped. You could, you know, whatever it is you're thinking about uh, financial investments, they could go kaput out of the blue. Princess of Swords is always about strategy, study, research before you just madly jump in and, you know, uh, try to do something that could be very harmful for you. So with regards to that, that could be very harmful, Capricorn. Now, message from Spirit is soul power. To know that you have the power within you to, you know, counter whatever's coming okay right now we've got i hope you, uh, you find resolution because that ace of pentacles in reverse was tricky right now various aces happening in your second and um, eighth house second house is income in money that you earn eighth house is money that others earn okay uh, like other people's money so getting funding your husband's money or your wife's money your spouse's money is the eighth house so there's some sort of conflict or it's even investments eight thousand sexuality as well and second house is not just what you earn it's what you value right so there's a discrepancy with regards to maybe even inheritance eight thousand inheritance Maybe you, you invested your inheritance incorrectly and the income that was to be generated, it did not quite work out that way. Okay, so Aquarius, now let's see what we have for you. Whoopsie. Every time a card falls, it's, it's like, okay, Ace of Swords in reverse. And you are... Um, an air sign so we just had that new beginning that spread was like uh uh cancelled the sword is like a vajra it uh, if think of archangel michael's sword that cuts away at all illusions cuts away at all bonds and binds so this is sort of like aquarius you're unable to do that but eight house things are hidden you don't quite know what to process what to say what to do so that that could be problematic for you know for you in the long run now having said that eighth house is also the unconscious so a lot of messages can come forth from the unconscious which create value but of course after attention remember eight uh, it's attention at uh, this opposition the sun moon so with the eight of cups indolence Eight of Cups is interesting because it's time to walk away from something that's toxic. It's very clear, Aquarius. Walk away from something that is toxic, that is not serving you. You need to take charge of that particular thing and you need to walk away. Memories can surface. I said unconscious, Eighth House. So, you know, this is a lot of unprocessed stuff, Aquarius, that you're going to have to process before Saturn moves into your sign. There's just going to be so, so much of, of that happening. Okay, now, ending the reading with Pisces, first and seventh, of course, Virgo is your seventh house, where the sun is, the moon is in your sign. So... Your physical body, ascendant is how you're plugged into the matrix, you know. Uh, your psychological makeup, your physical makeup, your stamina, your endurance. The seventh house is all your interpersonal relationships, your marriage, your partnerships. 
to there's something that is not working out maybe with regards to your marriage with regards to your partnership that needs you to really put in that personal touch okay to really put in that personal touch okay so uh yes the slide completely fell on me okay so the the last the messages from spirit is six of swords in reverse the six of swords is about actually moving away from a very turbulent situation and because this the archetype is oh my god stuff flying off so just to say uh so the, when the archetype is reversed it just goes to say that you're still stuck in the quagmire of shit and you're unable to sort of move away from what's causing you distress you need to objectively remove yourself from the situation to better understand and get a better grasp of of what needs to be done how to place your arsenal how to face that that the unconscious because certain things are hidden by says that you don't know okay certain things are hidden your ruler jupiter is in detriment in the astrological sign of Capricorn, Saturn ruled. Now we've got the Ten of Cups for you, satiated, which means you're completely satiated. You're satisfied with uh, whatever is coming to you, provided you manage to reverse this archetype. Move away from the turbulence. Okay, that is absolutely imperative that you do that. You need to move away from the turbulence that has been created. Okay, so another thing uh, before I go with the last message from Spirit. You need to inspire passion. Okay, not just within yourself. You need to inspire passion in others. That first and seventh house activation. It, this could also be that you're not really, you know, having the conversation you need to have. Because, you know, swords are oftentimes communication, thoughts. So there's just, and six is uh, the, the blessing of the goddess. See, the number six, it's like pregnancy, a pregnant woman, six. So there's just something about... Um, a conflicted uh, thought process that you're just you know, maybe not opening up to, maybe you're not having an honest conversation with itself or an honest conversation with people around you because uh, you feel like it's best that it's best to be quiet, it's best not to say anything. But I think you could be wrong there, Pisces, because. Um, Really, the new world is about asserting yourself. And like I said, in the significations of Pisces, that Pisces is uh, mute. is not a sign that, that really stands up for itself. So it's, it's, it's a sign that gets, you know, swayed. I think it's because of that water element, of course, because water uh, kind of connects you to an abstract, imaginal, a uh, plane okay like um like air communicates it but water is is sort of like memories and everything that's been reverbal okay okay i think there's a storm coming so i'm gonna end it now it was absolutely fantastic doing this uh tarot and astrological update for you for the upcoming pisces full moon which happens to be on my natal moon Opposite my Mars, my Venus, my rising, and my, not really opposite my uh, Ketu, or not really, uh, Rahu. Uh, but yeah, the same sign. So it's really a very powerful polarity for me, this Virgo and uh, Pisces polarity. And um, it activates a lot within me, which is why I was compelled to do this tarot reading for you guys. So don't miss out uh, my astrological update please keep in mind okay before i go i want to end with a message from bhagavad gita because it's ganesha turti now there's just a lot of spiritual vibes in the air and
beyond scripture. Okay, it says here, Yavan Artha Yavan Artha Udapane Sarvatha Samplutudake Tavan Sarveshu Videshu Brahmasya Vijnanta. Whatever purposes are served by a small pond are achieved by the great reservoirs of water. Similarly, all the purposes of the Vedas are accomplished by one who knows God. So know the God within, connect to the Godhead, connect to the planetary diamonds, look up at the stars. They talk to us. You know, right now, once I end this broadcast, I'm going to turn off all the lights. We just you know, put my hair up in a bun, take off uh, my kurti and just slip on, uh, slip into something comfortable like my pajamas and just stargaze. There's just, I, I hope I get a good night of stargazing, but that's what I want to do. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Take care.